Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a front loader washing machine deep clean video. But first I just want to give some appreciation to these ladies who have been watching my videos and supporting my channel. So if you haven't done so already, please make sure you check their channels out. The first thing I'm going to do is take the drawer out of the washing machine and give it a good clean. Now when you wash the top of the drawer, you can't get the blue section wet because otherwise it will stop working. So make sure you only wipe around there with damp cloth. Now I'm just running it under some warm water and using a sponge to remove any buildup of detergent in there. And the two round things on there are sensors to sense whether you have detergent or fabric softer in there. So you just need to run that under some warm water as well just to clear out any buildup of fabric softer or detergent in there. If you don't do that, your sensors will actually stop working and it'll come up that you don't have detergent or you don't have fabric softer in there when you actually do. So just make sure when you clean it out that you run those under some warm water as well. Now when I do clean out this drawer I find there's still a lot of washing detergent in there so I just tip it into a bowl and I'll just use it when I'm washing the kids hats or caps or anything else that I need to hand wash and then I'll give it a good clean out and make sure that any build up of soap is gone. Now tell me, what sort of washing machine do you have? Do you have a front loader or a top loader? I used to have a top loader and I really miss it because I could put my blankets and that in there without a problem. But I also love my front loader as well. Some of these parts are so hard to get into, it was so frustrating. I want to get like a little straw cleaner so I can get in there and give them a good clean because I feel like I haven't completed the job properly if it's not cleaned. Now that I've cleaned the drawer, I'm just going to clean this section with a damp cloth. As you can see at the back, there's like a dark little section there. That is the electronic part, so you don't want to get it wet. Otherwise, it will stop working and it will cost you a lot of money to fix. So only a damp cloth, avoid that at all costs. And I also get in there with a toothbrush just to try to get into this little section so I can't get into with a sponge to give it a clean. It's like I can't walk on the sea. Now when you put the top on this drawer, you need to make sure you put it under this lever and the two little round sections, you need to make sure that you put them on either side of the little divider there and then it should slide in without a problem. Now I'm 
just going to fill up the detergent and the fabric softener. The detergent takes about 1.31 litres, which is quite a lot, but that's the one thing I love about this washing machine. You just fill it up and let the washing machine work out how much it needs to put in for each load. <laughs> Now I've just got the cleaner that's Bosch themselves because I do have a Bosch washing machine. They suggested to use this one so while it's under warranty that's what I'm going to use. So I just open the container and just tip it straight into the washing machine and then I set it on drum clean which is the hottest wash and just let it go. Now just a warning, this next part is pretty disgusting. I want to gag every time I look at it. I didn't realise this was actually here until I stuck my phone in there to try and record me cleaning the seal. And I'm like, what's this? And I look at it and it is so disgusting. I've never seen it there, so I never clean it. I didn't realise it was there. You can see how much gunk is in there, which makes me really concerned at how much is actually in the seal itself. But as you can see, it's pretty gross. I was gonna cut this part out because it is so gross, but I thought, well, if I didn't know it was there, there's probably a lot of other people out there that doesn't know it's there. So I've just got the toothbrush there and just stuck it up there and scrubbed it out as much as I can. And then I'll put it on another hot wash just to clear out anything else that could possibly be in there. Every time we say goodbye They all see that it's a lie Cause we always give it one last try Yeah, you've watched me break a thousand times Now I'm all alone Now that the second hot wash has gone through I've just got an old hand towel here And I'm getting everything to wipe down To make sure I get rid of all the excess water Normally I try to do this every three months, but with Christmas I must have completely forgot because it had actually been six months since I've done it. Let me know down in the comments, how often do you give your washing machine a deep clean like this? Now I just get the washing machine to clean down with just a damp microfiber cloth just to make sure it's all nice and clean. I'd leave a towel on the top so it doesn't get damaged so I don't really need to clean that. I just take it off when I need to and chuck it in the wash. I did say this was a washing machine deep clean so I'm going to check the pump out. The first thing I do is put the towel down so it can catch any excess water that comes out. Then I'll take the door off, you need to be gentle with it because otherwise you could break it so be gentle. Then I just grab an old bowl that I have and take the little overflow out and just pull the end of it out and just let all the excess water come out. Once that's done, put it back in, and now it's time to undo the bottom part. So what I do is actually put a towel down there and slowly open it, because there's still quite a lot of water that comes out. So you sort of want to move the towel around to absorb as much water as you possibly can so it doesn't spill out on the floor everywhere. Once all the water's sort of gone, you can finish turning it and pull it out. As you can see, this one's pretty dirty, so I'm going to give it a wash with the toothbrush. Once that's done, I'll just put it back in clockwise. Now if you find that this door is not closing properly, as you can see it's not quite closed, the knob actually needs to be vertical up so it will close properly. And then we just leave the door as well as the drawer slightly ajar so that it can air out and make sure that all the water just dries up so it doesn't make a smell back in the washing machine. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're after some more inspiration, make sure you check out my laundry routine video.